the past one week has been really rough on my health but i'm glad i'm bouncing back and i'm so grateful to all of you for those beautiful and encouraging messages you sent i've decided to step out today because i realize the more i stay in bed or i stay indoors the sicker i get this life is for those who are willing to live so let me brave it and get moving i know i sound weird my voice is not fully back yet but i'm feeling very okay today i've been away from my home for some time now and my little garden has some lots of food to harvest the mulberry tree is fruiting unfortunately it's the birds who are enjoying all the fruits i got just a few pieces i know in the coming season there'll be lots of food so we can share with nature i was among the first few people to plant this season and my beans are already drying up in the garden and it's still raining a lot so what happens in seasons like this is the beans that are already drying up are washed away by the rains or they just rot so not all of them are uh, dry yet so i'll just be picking out the ones that are dry and leave the ones that are still very green to give them time to dry up this little garden of mine keeps shocking me every time i grow something because people always said that nothing could grow on this land but everything I saw everything I plant just does well and it makes me really happy and I'm really encouraged to try more and more vegetables here. The biggest disappointment I've had on this garden is the patch where I had planted sweet potatoes. It's been four months since I planted the vines and I was expecting to have uh, the tubers ready but I checked today and there was totally nothing underneath. For those who call me to make inquiries about sweet potatoes and the kind of soils where you can grow sweet potatoes, if you can remember I always advise you not to grow sweet potatoes on clay soil. It will never do well. I wouldn't really say I'm disappointed because uh, I didn't plant them to get the tubers. The main reason I had planted them was just to save that uh, new variety of sweet potatoes I had uh, acquired from a friend and to multiply the vines. So I will harvest those cuttings, the vines, and then replant them in loam soil away from here and that's where i'll expect to harvest some potatoes but other than that everything else has done really well right next to this patch is that patch that has the cassavas that is also something i'm not very sure about cassavas love the sandy soils but let's give it time and see if we'll harvest any cassavas in the coming months. Our pepper plants haven't stopped producing the chilies. We've been harvesting for months now and they keep producing. I haven't bought chilies in such a long time. The maize look great and I also added sunflower to the garden and they are looking really beautiful. The chickens really enjoyed sunflower seeds the last time I brought them here and that's one of the reasons I planted these sunflowers so they could get those seeds and the, the nutrients they need from them. You won't imagine the fulfillment I get every time I come here and live with a basket full of goodies. Goodies I've spent nothing on. 
and to watch all these vegetables and fruits I've planted grow into food and have my chickens finally producing eggs. It is a feeling I don't have the right words for. At the moment everything is blooming. The rains are just a blessing to us always. The banana trees are fruiting faster than usual. The maize, the passion fruits, the arrow roots, tomatoes, there's just so much in this garden and looking at them always puts a smile on my face. I think this is my last harvest of okra. They haven't been producing much lately and I just want to pull them out and put something different on this patch. But the few I planted have served me well. You can remember just how many times I've harvested this okra. And they were so good. The variety I planted here was quite different from the one I planted at my mom's place. The other one was from South Africa. This one I got locally. And uh, the South African one has been producing for longer than this one. I haven't even pulled the trees out yet, yet I grew them before these ones. One of my hens has found a way to sneak out and enjoy the greens outdoors. But thankfully she knows her way back to the coop. So I've harvested some beans, peppers, okra, and lots of eggs. This banana here fell on its own. It was kind of windy yesterday, but it was just ready for harvest. So it's not a waste. Mm. The variety of beans I planted is the nyayo beans and they're quite big in size much bigger than the size I planted which means the land here is very fertile we eat our beans green and uh, when we have a lot then we dry and store them but since this is just a small harvest uh, I'm going to give it to my boy who takes care of my home and he can make himself some bean soup from this. Fresh beans like this are usually very tasty. I don't know if you've had beans like this. I feel so refreshed now that I've spent my day outdoors and I want to thank you all for your prayers and well wishes. We now come to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. It's bye for now. I'll see you in the next.